Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Kittawak Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is come over here and take the rectangle block that's on the wall, and we're going to attach it to the rectangle block in front of us. And once you do, it's going to create a bridge to cross. We're then going to remove the rectangle that we added, and we're going to attach it to this gear. And once you attach it, you can wait for it to spin around, or you can kind of go quick like I did and use a recall on the gear so that it comes back to you. And we're going to just use that to get across so that we can grab the chest that's hanging out up here. So go ahead and open up this chest. Inside, you're going to get 10 arrows. So go ahead and take the arrows, and then we'll jump back down and remove the piece that we added to the gear. Now we're going to bring this over here behind us, and we're going to attach it to another rectangle. So you want to turn this and angle it so it's the same as the one that's already in place. And once you attach it, it's going to fall and create a little bridge once again. But then we're going to take our third one here and put this one on the end to create a ramp so that we can get up top. We'll create that ramp. We'll go up top. And now all we need to do is take this rectangle. We're going to lift it up and then we're just going to slam it back down to the ground and then we'll stand on top of it. Go ahead and use recall. And what that's going to do is throw us up in the air here. It'll launch us up. You can pull your chute and you'll make it to the end of the shrine. But this is how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.